Hi, my name is Walt Whitley, and I'm excited to talk to you all about amniotic membranes. Amniotic membranes have changed the way that we provide treatment for our patients for a variety of ocular surface disorders, whether it's going to be due to advanced ocular surface disease, neurotrophic keratitis, corneal ulcers, corneal abrasions, recurrent corneal erosions, and a plethora of other, uh, other conditions that our patients may have. So why amniotic membranes? Well, we know the great properties that we have, whether it's going to be the cryopreserved or the dehydrated membranes. One is indicated for wound healing, the other is for wound covering. The amniotic membranes, what do they do? Anti-inflammatory properties, anti-scarring, anti-microbial, anti, uh, anti-angiogenic. And so these are great properties that help heal the ocular surface. Whenever it comes to amniotic membranes, it's important for us to consider uh, how it's going to affect our patients. The most important aspect of the amniotic membrane is going to be the uh, uh, heavy chain hyaluronic acid pentraxin 3, which essentially has the potent anti-inflammatory properties to heal the ocular surface. I recommend that you try all the different amniotic membranes. You're going to see what works best for your patients, but also works best for your practice. Whenever you're you're making the recommendation for the treatment, make sure that you're making that direction and that recommendation. It needs to be direct. It can't be a passive. Hey, well, there's this treatment we can try. We're going to put this ring in your eye. We're going to put this contact lens in your eye. Do you want to try it? Or ma'am, you know you've been suffering from this condition. I'm going to need to put an amniotic membrane on your eye. Kind of like a, a, if you broke your arm before, you had to wear a cast. Well, I'm going to put a ring inside your eye. We're going to keep it in there for four to five days. Why? For healing, and it's going to help provide the, the nutrients that you need to improve your condition. And if you're more direct in the way that you make that recommendation, patients are more likely going to adhere and, be, and, and do your recommended treatment. So as I mentioned, I challenge you to use, try them all. See what works best for your practice and your patients, but they do make a difference within clinical care. Thank you.